Hello and welcome to another video. This one's going to be showcasing a bit of a little pet peeve of mine related to Git. Uh, I guess let's just jump into it and I'll show you. Okay, so there are several ways to clone a Git repository and GitHub helpfully shows you uh, the URLs for those when cloning, uh, either HTTPS or SH, or of course if you're using the, the GitHub command line, but that's not relevant for other Git servers and uh, not what I'm meaning to show you today. Uh, and if you copy and paste these and you git clone those, it works just fine. Uh, it also works if you select SSH and you have an SSH key set up. So if you delete this and re-clone using SSH and you have an SSH key set up, that all works fine. My beef for my nitpick here is these four characters are not needed and I see this this myth propagated that you need to put .git on the end of these. You don't at all. So if we, oops, armrf, a security, and we go back to our HTTPS clone, you'll see that if I remove .git, it clones just fine. Uh, same if I remove .git on the SSH URL. And Git has done this for a very, very long time. Let's see, Git 2.0 release date. I think 2.0 is when it landed. Yes, <laughs> almost. Almost a decade, uh, Git has had this behavior. So you can you can almost entirely rely on you know, not needing .git in your URLs, and I'll save you a few characters. And now you can stop cargo culting this this uh, silly silly .git thing. Anyway, that's that's my little pet peeve. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.